Hello everyone, and welcome to this Excel tutorial. Today, we're going to learn how to calculate the total sales for each salesman across multiple months using two powerful formula methods. Imagine you have a workbook with sales data for January to April, and each sheet contains the names of salesmen in column A and their sales amounts in column B. In the summary sheet, we'll calculate the total sales for each salesman by combining data from all four months. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to use these formulas to create a dynamic and automated summary. Let's dive in. Let's start with the first method, which uses two separate formulas. In this method, We'll first create a list of unique salesmen in column A of the summary sheet and then calculate their total sales in column B. First, I will combine all the salesmen names from column A across the different worksheets into a single list. To do this, I will use toCall function that combines data into one column. For the array argument, I will type the name of the first worksheet, followed by a colon, and then click on the last worksheet. After that, I will select the salesman name column from all the sheets. To ensure the formula works dynamically, I will extend the cell range, for example, up to A1000. I will also include an option to ignore blank cells to avoid any empty rows in the result. Once I close the bracket, the formula will return all the salesman names from each worksheet in a single list. Next, I will apply a function that extracts only the unique names from this list, giving me a clean list of salesmen without duplicates. Next, I will calculate the total sales value for each salesman across all months. To do this, I will use the Excel filter function. Start by typing equal, then filter. For the first argument, I will use the same toCall function to combine the sales values from column B of each worksheet into a single list. For the include argument, I will again use the toCall function, but this time to combine the salesman names from column A of each worksheet. I will then set this to be equal to the salesman name in column A of the summary sheet. This will filter the sales values for the specific salesman. Once the formula is complete, it will return an array of sales values from all months for that particular salesman. To calculate the total, I will wrap this formula with the SUM function to add up all the sales values in the array. Before copying the formula down, I will make sure to fix the cell ranges for both arguments to ensure the formula works correctly for all rows. Finally, I will copy the formula down the column, and now we can see the total sales for each salesman across all worksheets. And that's it. With these two formulas, you now have a dynamic summary of each salesman's total sales. Now let's move on to the second method, which uses a single formula. This method is more advanced but also more efficient because it combines everything into one step. To achieve this, I will use the Excel let function. If you're not familiar with the let function, I recommend checking out my previous tutorial videos where I explain it in detail. You can find the links in the description below. Now let's continue. Using the let function, I will start by defining variables. First, I will define A and B as variables to combine the data ranges for the salesman names and sales values from the different worksheets, just like we did in the previous method. Then I will define a third variable, C, which will extract the unique salesman names from the data in variable A. Once the variables are defined, I will use the hstack function to merge two arrays. The first array will be the unique salesman names from variable C. For the second array, I will use the map function, which applies a custom calculation to each value in the array. Inside the map function, I will use the lambda function to define the calculation. I will start by defining a variable, x, which represents each unique salesman name in the array. Then, I will use the sum function combined with the filter function to calculate the total sales for each salesman. 
The filter function will filter the sales values from variable B based on whether the salesman name in variable A matches the current value of X. Finally, I will carefully close all the brackets for the let, h stack, map, and lambda functions. Once the formula is complete, I will press enter, and the result will display the unique salesman names along with their total sales, all in a single formula. This method is compact and efficient, making it ideal for larger datasets or more advanced users. Both methods are powerful and dynamic, and the choice between them depends on your comfort level and the size of your dataset. The first method is easier to understand and works well for beginners, as it breaks the process into two simple steps. The second method, on the other hand, is more compact and efficient, especially for larger datasets, as it combines everything into a single formula. Whichever method you choose, you'll have a dynamic summary that updates automatically as your data changes. And that's it for today's tutorial. We've learned how to calculate total sales for each salesman across multiple months using two different methods. Both approaches are dynamic and save you time by automating the process. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more Excel tips and tricks. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.